Hello and welcome. Seal Race here with Build Showcase. Build on your screen right there. Pause the video if you wish to copy the exact main components also listed in the description below. Jägermeh S. Variant. The Jäger S is a brand new acquisition for me and you're going to see my first two games ever in this particular mech in this video. As such, no pilot skills at all in the first game and also no modules were in use. So if you have the pilot skills, basics, elites, even the master, as well as the modules to go with this belt, you're obviously going to see performance increase from this particular belt. Now, when it comes to Jaegers, build making to me is kind of easy. Slap some big ballistics in it, maybe some sidearms, and then uh, an engine to fit with it all. And that's what I have done here. I wanted to try out this Jaeger with AC-20s and I did it on a Jaeger S. I put in two small lasers and argument can definitely be Target made acquired. that I have way too much ammo for the AC-20s. Way fired. too much ammo. And as such, um, if you want to make change to this build, you could definitely drop a ton of ammo at least and upgrade the small lasers to medium lasers. That is something you would definitely do. Know that two AC-20s are very heat intensive when fired together, so uh, try to avoid doing that. Or when you're doing that, just don't fire the medium lasers then at the same time, because that will absolutely blow you up. So map is River City. Uh, this map can, from time to time, facilitate brawling extremely well. Depends how your team plays the map, where they are going and so forth. And I am kind of okay with hanging around here behind this particular uh, castle. Acquired. Usually this is not my preferred location, but it's still a location everybody con tends to congregate at. But at least they added the island on the other side here, so that, well, facilitates some more brawling, especially on the island. And enemies are pushing aggressively through the island. I would prefer to create a flanking maneuver here once they start pushing in and unfortunately the Hellbringer walked right in my fire there so uh, well get some big shots into the Kodiak and miss the third one but oh well got a couple shots in that is good right that is good the Inner Sphere AC-20 is one of the best weapons in the game for purely trading damage with somebody like laser vomit and all that is good as well however if you can just trade even outside the optimal range obviously you would prefer being within 270 meters for the optimal range but even outside the optimal range you're still dealing 10 damage a shot if you're just trading damage with somebody the ac20 the inner sphere ac20 is really really good at it of course, that means you cannot die when you're doing it, or you shouldn't die. And a well, XL engine Jaeger is kind of uh, kind of weak. Let's just put it that way. Or on the whole tanking front of things. So, but there is hey, there is the first kill with an AC-20. Because AC-20 is big bullets uh, in you know, well. Shooting out of big barrels, I guess. And that is outside of my reach. That is just barely within reach, right? Move forward just a little bit and then miss the shots. Of course, right? Don't yet have experience with this uh, particular setup, uh, so it's going to take a few games to get used to uh, the AC-20 velocity again and uh, being able to land those shots. But the enemy is pushing on through that side. So let's push through the middle here. Let's see, if anybody is still hanging around the island, I can pour fire into them. And yes, yes, I can see your lasers from here. Alright, now I don't want to push too far because I don't want to expose myself on this right side corner here. Did you see that the heat spike from firing two AC-20s at once? It is massive heat spike, you can't do that too much or you will definitely be overheating. And uh, 
uh, well, shooting at buildings. Mm -hmm. At least I have the extra ammo. And hello there. Um, yeah, those lasers are kind of cute, but the AZ-20 deals so much damage in one go that I am kind of willing to trade, especially once I can um, do the, uh, uh, you know, avoid some of the fire, spread some of the lasers around, all that stuff. Now, of course, I was not support firing my team Target here acquired. on this side as the enemies came acquired. in. So the enemy essentially managed to roll over them on this side. Unfortunately, that is the case. And here we go. I am getting shot at by everybody and their uh, little brother too. And also, uh, just to mention, I do not need this thing. It's like, yeah, it's cute. I used it there to avoid shooting a friendly in the back, but other than that, I don't see it to see enemies because dark background, dark, uh, well, mech outlines, and I'm gonna get blown up here because of that XL engine. Moving on from City of Rivers to Canyon Network. And yes, that overheat there at the end of the game basically cost me my life. And I do believe I had one pilot skill for this one. I believe I had Cool Run or Heat Content, one or the other, for the second game. Anyways, anyways. The Jaeger S so far seemed kind of funky, kind of uh, amusing to play. Not necessarily all that efficient uh, or effective, unless you can uh, get yourself in a situation where uh, you can just do drive-by shooting. You have maybe weakened enemies and so forth, who um, you can go and just dual AC-20 to death in one go. Not always going to be the case, or then you need the sort of a trading engagement where somebody is trying to trade fire with you every few seconds. Yeah, Timberwolf who is not paying attention. Well, that that is completely and utterly okay, right? And there is a side torso gun already because the AZ-20 is a big bullet. All right, that is the sort of stuff I want. It's distracted by something else, trying to run away, and then you. Uh, well, gifted an AC-20 shell. Preferably uh, don't miss all those shots though. Would have been much, much better, right? Anyway, uh, it's essentially a timber ball who is gone at the beginning of the game. It's so, like, there's about about two minutes played and a timber is Target gone. That is uh, not all that awesome, right? Anyways, anyways, somebody is shooting at me, that's okay. I'm just gonna poke Dead around here, see if, uh, who I can see and Your who target. can put fire into. And you are distracted by somebody. That means you are my next target. Hello, Kodiak. That was a lot of uh, AZ-20 shells you just ate there. So that's quite a bit of armor which has been stripped this off. Can we get captured. another one? Oh, oh, well, for the same target as well. That's okay too. That's fine too. A little Target bit too spotted. many people there right now, and a little bit too uh, much fire from the Kodiak tree. Let's go uh, drop down here and hide Any for a second. Also, uh, cool off a little bit, so you can put more AZ-20 shells downrange. Now I have a friendly Jaeger here, and he's shooting at somebody, or expecting somebody to poke out and shoot. So here we go, and just as I was expecting somebody else to come around the other corner, I was turning for it, the uh, timing there, really unfortunate for me, I should have pulled back, instead of, uh, instead of tried to time that. And now I'm getting shot at from above without being able to shoot back. Slightly annoying, so let's go down here about. Uh, those guys are watching the Enemy corner, that's fine. Is, is that Kodiak still alive? Like, seriously? New target still acquired. alive, seriously? Oh, well, somebody else. And uh, a missed shot. Unfortunately, a missed shot, but hey, um, I'm gonna hang around this corner, wait Enemy for him to come, and I'm going to put shells into it. Big AZ-20 shells. Now, of course, I had a friendly here who came to distract it as well, so that's fine. And that looks very much like the stock, a uh, hunchback 
4G setup with the head small laser, two medium lasers in the arms, and an AC-20. Hopefully not a stock amount of armor though. I mean, I'm all over of lore bales and such, but at least max out the armor. Because otherwise you're just going to be prey in all honesty. Oh, hello. Would you like some AC-20 shells, Mr. Uh, Flame, Mr. Dragon? No, okay. Uh, Excel Engine or Dragon? Okay, um, I didn't get the kill, but hey, uh, that's what happens. It's a Marauder who, well, um, is not running an Excel engine, because two LB-10Xs. You can't fit two LB-10Xs with an Excel engine mm -hmm. on, on that particular Marauder that I'm. Something the nice things to know uh, in things like that, but uh, these, these things, catapults, oh, uh, okay. Uh, let's not shoot at the catapult, let's shoot at the Kodiak, that is much more scary. Um, Big, big acquired. things uh, to be uh, put big shells into. Of course, poke from around top here. Another angle. Don't keep, uh, you know, poking from the same exact location over and over. Uh, unfortunately, captured. don't have Target a firing destroyed. angle on the Kodiak. So kind of have to go acquired. through the same location again. But hey, the Kodiak comes out into open. That Target means destroyed. more... Well, shots acquired. in there. Um, no kill again. Can I get an AZ-20 shell or captured. more in this catapult again? Hello, catapult. You're one of these bells mm -hmm. with just missiles so, and a tag. Destroyed. That means uh, you're... Acquired. Well... Kind of useless at certain time point in the game. Well, low cost, running captured. around. Low cost target is awesome. Destroyed. And thank you very much for watching. Trying this build out, it's always fun to put AC-20 shells down the range.